this canal was where I sort of tried living on a boat. It was only for a few days. But I tried the experience and thought, okay, it's possible. It's not complete purgatory, you know? I do think so, there are some people who fall for, like, the dream that gets sold on YouTube. Um, you know, all they, all they ever see are golden sunsets and beautiful skies and nature and you know they never see the l sand getting back to that point i do think there are people who watch videos of uh, liverboard life or you know, life on a boat um who i feel might not appreciate the more gritty aspects of it and the sacrifices like in the summer months if you're running low on water you can be uncomfortable and sweaty during the day and stuff and you don't always have enough water to get a shower like that evening you know nobody wants to spend the whole day it's just you know and, and trudging your way through six inch deep mud with a, a, a bag full of shopping you know for like half a mile to you because you couldn't get the boat any closer to the town um, standing on the back of the boat when the rain's sheeting down because you've got to move you know it's your last day you've run out of time you've got to move you know CRT you can't ring them up and say yeah you know guys can I uh, overstay today because uh, it's a bit rainy isn't it you know the weather's rubbish they're not going to have that so some days Hello. I don't know what it was. But well, it was temporary. So. Yeah. And sometimes people don't show the boating in the rain and the, the mud. You know. The winter part of it. Sometimes people don't show it. They'll show the snow. I mean it, it probably snows on like two days a year in the UK freezes over on maybe four days five days depending on the winter but that's the recent pattern um, so they show that you know great YouTube views look at the frozen canal oh my god you know frozen in will we survive you know and all those silly thumbnails that you see but I don't know whether they're telling you the truth guys I'm afraid not all of them anyway uh, or at least they're showing you the nice bits they're not showing you the full bits so it's, it's not right for me to say they're not telling you the truth what they're telling you is true but not telling you the full picture is a better way a fairer way of saying it so um, we're leaving the Ashby where I first learned about narrow boating, good and bad. What I didn't learn though, right, and what you don't learn in a higher boat period, you don't learn whether you're okay with a nomadic lifestyle. Now when I'm saying nomadic, like it's a big caravan and there's camels and, you know, tents and yurts and all that kind of thing. You do see yeah, it's actually. So it, I don't mean it in that grand romantic sense, but nomadic, you know, you're constantly on the move. That's the deal with uh, continuous cruising. You are constantly on the move. No force in the world. Well, ill health will keep you static and they'll let you stay for a while. But generally speaking, you are on the move constantly. And that doesn't suit everyone. It, it's, uh, it is a subtle difference uh, or a significant one I think in how it makes you feel so yeah don't assume that you're going to be okay with it because you might not you might be okay with the comfort sorry discomfort living in a small space so if you're sort of agoraphobic claustrophobic then you know or have slight tendencies which I think I maybe I do actually don't I like small spaces but you've got to make the sacrifices 
you might be okay with these kind of sacrifices but there's another question especially if you want to live aboard which is are you okay with constantly moving every two weeks you, you never you can't stay still you cannot stay still I mean you can pay for a mooring you can do it that way but then you ask yourself the question of why am I on the boat why am I making the sacrifice of living in this small space with a limited water supply and everything else walking along a towpath full of mud in the winter blah 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 you know you've heard me prattle on about it endlessly why am I doing that uh, and not getting the advantage of the movement so you know that, that question always arises for me now I know with some people who live in marinas it's because they've got a job locally and they just love being on a boat they love that confined space they love the cosiness it suits them so horses for courses uh, for me it's a sacrifice a small space and at some point I would like to move to a broader boat a wide beam boat but that's a different uh, discussion altogether and the thing is right it's not something you can find out it's not something you can test you can live on a boat for two weeks and say yeah I'm fine with living on a boat there's no aspect of it that I'm uncomfortable with blah 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 do it in the winter or the late autumn and you can say yeah I can do it in the winter even I'm okay with that because it is a different experience in the winter um, but having to keep moving having to keep moving all the time uh, even when you don't want to and there are some places I get to and you almost feel as if you psychologically you're starting to put down roots it's a strange thing uh, you're there for like a week or two weeks and you think yeah that's handy that shop I really like that shop I really like that little cafe thing you know it does really nice bacon sarnies that would typically be my criteria you know uh, like North which is brilliant there was a Waitrose there well, the thing about the Waitrose is though you get tempted into spending a fortune on groceries that you probably don't need to spend really so that was bad but my god the stuff I absolutely pigged out but yeah are you okay with moving on I wonder if for some people it gets a bit like tiresome you know oh god we've got to move again you know we've got to change everything all the scenery all the shops neighbours so just everything changes once a week or every two weeks at most everything changes some people welcome it some people are like born nomads although I find it interesting that many of the people who do that do eventually settle down 